Welcome to another productive day in the life of a publicist. So today is Monday, October 17th. And what do we have on agenda? Your girl looked at her calendar before she got on here. So props to me, right? Props to me. All right. So today we have an e breast cancer awareness event at work. So this is why I'm wearing my lovely pink um, and why I look decent, decent. So also I have a junior leadership board meeting tonight. Um, I have a lot of content and stuff that I need to film tonight and I actually need to change my closet over because fall has finally came to Alabama. So I am dressed. I'm really about to head out to the door to go to work. So just want to do a short little intro and then show you guys what I got on today. So, um, nothing special. We got on a pink dress. Today, I'm not wearing heels. Today, I actually have on some flats because I don't know how much walking I want to do at work today. So, that's that because the event is going to be outside. But, nevertheless, we are here. We're about to walk out the door. So, I'll see you guys when I get to work. This ring here represents my heart But there's just one thing I need from you Say I do Because I can see us holding hands Walking on the beach, our toes in the sand I can see us Alright y'all, so by the time this video comes out The news will probably already be out But I have been selected as one of Birmingham Business Journal's Next Generation honorees so this is like a big deal for me because let me tell you i am not the top type to brag about myself i am a very humble person i come here i do my work i do what i need to do and get about it up but very recently i'll probably say within the last year not even a full year like by the time i got here it got to the point of people People wanted to know more about me, know more about my position, and really have to speak up about what I want and also share my journey to other people because I want to be able to inspire them. So coming from being one of the finalists for the Minority Business Award um, a couple of months ago to now being one of the honorees for Birmingham Business Journal is it's a big deal for me y'all um especially just as a young y'all i'm just 29 and the fact that all this has happened and um i'm being honored in this way is great um and i really want to show y'all how you can do it too this is why i bring you guys along on these journeys what a day in the life looks like for me even though i'm busy as heck um i don't have time for a lot of stuff i see what i'm doing to make space for someone else and that's always one of the things of i always want to leave something better than what i got and how can i make it for someone that looks like me someone who's my age someone who's my gender how can i make it better for them once they get into it and how can i help them get to that point so i'm very big on mentorship i'm big on inspiring people i'm big on talking on panels about events and stuff just going on in my life so this is one of the reasons why i really wanted to start youtube again because I wanted other women to be inspired and see if I can do it, they can do it too. 
And this kind of brings me to the next point. Um, I saw a Twitter post where one lady was very angry about um, and voicing her opinion about how she feels our next generation, our new generation. We like to share. Well, I'm not a new generation. I'm a millennial. But y'all know what I mean. That we like to share a lot. And a lot of people have been fired from their jobs because of, you know, TikToks and things of that nature. And I kind of get it twofold. Um, it's real important for us to read that paperwork to make sure any kind of social media stuff. I, this is why y'all know I don't share my screens with y'all unless it's my actual business stuff. Um I do snippets of like different events, even though we go, unless it's a live event. Other than that, I kind of tell y'all what I'm doing, but I don't show you because I know how I can get me screwed about different things, especially in the position I'm working. But on the other hand, I know how important it is for people to see you. Um, those girls, especially it was because it was a black girl in tech working at Apple. Y'all. It is important for us to talk about stuff like that and show what a day in the life looks like as a black girl who working in tech at Apple. We don't know who be working there. And just to see it, and that can inspire the next person to be like, oh, well, I want to get in tech. So I feel like you can show people how your life is, especially if you're trying to inspire them. But there's also a twofold way of how to maneuver that. Like, you don't have to share everything. Yeah, I know. Um, I get in my moves. I don't, I don't share everything. I don't share about none of it. Like, my dating life or lack thereof. I'm not talking about it. Unless, you know, I feel like at that point. But if I'm going on dates, y'all will never know. I love y'all, but y'all will never know. Y'all might tell them. So, but I love y'all. So, um, I'm getting ready to finish up some more stuff um, and just get ready for the rest and end of the day. Hey guys, so finally off work, I went and took my dog out and so now I'm sitting in the parking lot of my next meeting. So I am a part of the Junior Leadership Board for Vulcan Parks and Museums. So yeah, that's, that's something exciting for me but um like i said um this is something new i just got this so we'll see what's going on and we'll get this done so see you later all right y'all so i finally made it home um i still got a lot of stuff i need to accomplish for work actually and then also business and still try to change my closet overnight so i did do a target pickup haul because i realized I was running low on a few things, so let's the rain. Clorox is my best friend. Dawn Dish Power Wash. I like using this and I like the apple scent, so I got some more. Dish detergent for the, uh, what's it called? <laughs> the dishwashing. Y'all tell you what kind of day I had. Uh, laundry detergent and some juice so i'm about to warm up some leftovers try to get this stuff knocked out and then i'll be trying to change over my closet for the rest of the night so that's my project so like i said i think i'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog here um because i'm gonna get comfy and um that's all really to be completely honest so i'll see you guys in the next vlog have a good one.